Hey guys, welcome back to the 12th episode of Let's Play Space Engineers. Thank you for tuning in today. Maybe you can see there's a little icon in the top left corner. And and what that is, is my, my voice communication in Discord. So since we reached 100 subscribers, I've set up a Discord server and I would like to invite everybody to come and join and hang out. Um, whenever I record, I'll be hanging out in a voice channel there. The voice channel is on mute, so I don't get disrupted while recording. But when I'm recording um, time lapses or other things, I might even uh, turn mood off and we can have a conversation while I'm working on something and recording. Um, and yeah, so so please uh, go and join. The link to the Discord server you will find in the description below. Click on that and we'll take you right there. Uh, awesome. So last time we, um, we discovered that we were running out of cobalt and I took a closer look. I was a little bit surprised by running out of cobalt because we got a lot of cobalt and nothing that we were producing really needed a lot of cobalt. So I was, uh, I decided to go and check on this again. And indeed, uh, it turns out we still have a lot of cobalt. Um, so not sure why I wasn't able to produce those grits. One theory that I have, so we failed, some grits were stuck in our production group, uh, um, Q last time, and I thought it was because we're missing cobalt. Uh, one theory that I have is that um, maybe the uh, this is my assembler. Maybe the output uh, container of the assembler was full, overflowing, and that's why we couldn't produce anymore. I'm not sure, but we don't need any cobalt. But I think I will still go and do a little resource run. Uh, let's clean this up a little bit here, just quickly. I think I will still do. Oh, that's not what I wanted. To, I wanted to move these here, actually. Okay. I think our container is full. Well. Okay. We'll still do a little resource run. Because I, I do want to get some silver. I do want to get some silver. So let's fix this here. Get some silver. And while we're out there, we should also get some iron. Uh, just to stock up. Uh, or, or or mine is doing a decent job and it's actually running right now. But um, it can't hurt to have a little bit more. Uh, and so what I want to do with this iron actually is I want to build advanced tools. I'm not, Are they called advanced? Advanced tools? Character tools. Proficient tools. Proficient tools. I think I... For these, I need uh, silver, and then for the last level, I need platinum. I, I and I'm I'm not sure if I if I have any any platinum anywhere. It doesn't doesn't look like it. I, I don't think I've, I've marked it anywhere. So we'll go with the proficient tools for now. Yeah. So build proficient tools. Oh, and one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, <clears throat> we last time I noticed that the the mine is actually not digging all the way to the floor, and I kind of casually just came up with the theory that this might be due to the timers not being set up correctly, uh, not giving it enough time to plunge all the way down. But actually, I think. What is happening is that I'm only lowering, that I'm not lowering it enough stops. Um, but I will not fix that. And the reason I won't fix that is that this mine is all about to run out. So this is like, once it's fully dug out, this is a square, um, what is it? Five by five, six by six, whatever it is. I think, I think it's six by six. Five, six by six, yeah. Uh, six by six stops, that is. But like once it's fully dug out, uh, this mine becomes kind of useless. So I want to rebuild this mine. And I've been talking last time already about how I think a circular or radial mine is going to be more effective. Um, it's going to be more effective in that it's simpler to build in a lot of ways. Uh, it has quite literally a couple more moving parts, I guess, uh, because it requires a rotor which this one does not. 
Um, but it's it's going to be simpler to operate and it's going to be simpler to automate. I, I actually think I can entirely automate it, like to, to 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 have it run from the from the start all the way to dig out its entire area with just two timer blocks. Because it really only requires one timer block to slowly but truly lower down the vertical pistons, and then one more timer block to rotate the rotor. And that's it. Um, uh, so I think I want to do that. I want to build the radial mine so that we have a larger area to dig out. And I want to uh, automate it with timer blocks. So this is the plan for today. Let's uh, add these two things on to our list here. So I'm going to move this up one here. And then we're going to automate radial, my radial mining rig. Let's call this radial. I think that it's more. It's a better name for it. Yeah. Um, oh, and one last thing. Uh, for the most part, you guys don't notice because when I'm building, I typically time lapse, but I'm still recharging at the survival kit and it's taking forever. So I want to build a medical room so that I can not spend as much time holding down the F key. So let's add that as well. We'll, we'll probably do this before we build the mining ring. We'll still need to find a good space for this. I'm I'm not I'm not sure where I want to put it. Maybe somewhere here. Maybe I'll um kind of like start utilizing the backspace here, uh, and close this off more. Uh, but we will see. Okay, so let's go and take out a hauler to get some silver and some iron. Um, and I will probably speed through a majority of that. So. I'll see you guys uh, over at the mining pit. Oops. Okay, um, I went to the iron first and decided to grab the silver first. I wasn't sure if there was silver there. I, I wasn't the impression that gold is often close to silver, uh, and there was gold there, so I, I, I was, I just wanted to make sure there wasn't any silver. I couldn't find any. So um, there's silver right here. It's quite deep um, underneath the ground, so it might take us a while to dig all the way down there to grab some silver. Um, but that's fine. We can we can do that. Okay, let's get started. Um, let's undock our vehicle. Oh, that was the wrong block. This one. Okay, and let's get up. Okay. Um, I realize I still haven't, I still haven't added another battery to this. We should probably do that as well. Let's go to the. Make sure that we're right above the silver. Okay. And, uh, let's get going. Okay, <laughs> I dug my way down. Uh, I don't think I got that on a time lapse. I'm sorry for that. I forgot to hit the record button. But this here is the silver. So let's uh, collect some of that. I'm not. Am I collecting it? Oh, yeah, okay. I just don't see my vehicle's weight increasing there now a little bit. So roughly 30,000 is what we want to load up into this before we will start struggling with being able to maneuver it. There we go. Oh. Okay. Let's get out of here. OK, 
Okay. Successfully docked. Let's um quickly look into the inventory and I think Yeah, that's probably what something we wanna add a toggle for at some point. But this con connector to is the top connector. All our top connector. I think what we want to do here is we want to set it to collect all. And I think this should... Maybe not. I thought it would move all the inventory from the... Uh, From my little craft into the holler. But that doesn't appear to be the case. Do I need to set this instead to throw out? Hmm. I don't really want to set this to throw out. I'm afraid that this will actually dump it on the ground. I guess I'll just manually move them. Move it all over. I think we have everything. Let's see, how much do we have roughly? Let's get it all together in one pile. Let's clean this all up a little bit. A little bit of stone. That's a, okay, 12,000 silver. That should be plenty. Okay. Um, I think I want to go and grab that iron next. I should have checked if I should get anything else. Maybe I'll grab some gold. Um, silicon is we can get from stone. Uh, but I think I'll I'll grab some gold over there at the iron as well, just so that we have some. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what we will need it for, but it's probably good to have it on hand. Okay, so I'll see you in a couple of minutes when I'm over there. Okay, we arrived at the iron block and the, the gold. Let's get our little craft undocked. Okay. Let's start with the gold. We'll have to dig down again here. Uh, let's get right above it. Is the iron right above it as well? Yeah, pretty much. That's okay though. Oh, careful. Let's make sure we have the inventory cleared out. Yeah. Um, let's get this straightened out. And let's uh, let's get started. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's funny because you remember how I talked about that I checked if there was silver here? Well, I didn't see it before, but there is. So, there's that. You can see it down here. Right, right over here, 70 meters away. Over there. It's quite deep. So maybe it's a good thing that we didn't try to get it here, but... Still, well, let's go and get the gold. Okay, I think I found the gold. Um... It's kind of like a really thin layer here. So... It doesn't appear to be any more down there. So I think that's just what it is. I just have to dig out some here. Again, we're going to fill up to 30,000. That's probably going to be a much higher ratio of stone that we will pick up here. Given how thin this gold layer is. We might discard some of that stone. Okay. That's the 30,000. Let's look at the inventory. Yeah. This really is uh, mostly stone. Let's see if we can... 
I'm a little bit afraid to just dump it because it'll create a big boulder and it, and that might be dangerous. So, oops, we need to back up a little bit. Okay, let's get out of here first. And product. Let's see. Let's let's see if we can kind of sort that stuff a little bit so we have a better idea what's going on. Let's get all the gold together here. After I've uh, kind of like dug these holes now, like these kind of like <laughs> there's like big circular holes everywhere in the landscape now. But after I've dug a couple of them. I wonder if we could also automate that. Um, would it be possible to... I'm not sure if timer blocks can control a spacecraft, frankly. Because it, it should be pretty simple. You just spin around the spacecraft in circles, and you just slowly lower it down. Um, I assume... Yeah. The, that, should be, that should be it. Um, I, might, I might play around with that a little bit. But frankly, I'm not sure if you can use timer blocks to like the spinning around thing i guess we could achieve by just doing an override on the gyro in fact i should probably be doing that manually um instead of um, instead of spinning it around using my my mouse um that also kind of like tips it over all the time and then i the, the horizon isn't flat and i'm afraid that that uh, that that the spacecraft will tip over and then get fall on its back but, um, yeah, I mean, at least in theory it should be possible. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have 1,800 gold and 25,000 stone. We'll just leave the stone in here. I think we, we there's still plenty of space. Um, but I think I'm going to do one more trip for some more gold. Uh, just because that amount doesn't seem like too much. The hauler is on the spectator cam. It is floating, so <laughs> you gotta you gotta watch me land the craft manually here. Okay, docked. Let's unload again. I frankly don't know um, how much gold I need or for what, so I think this is. If I need more, I can do another trip over here. Which also reminds me, I have a, I mean, this thing here has been doing a decent job so far, but I think I, if I, I need to do more trips out here to collect, like, the more scarce resources, like gold and, and, and silver and whatnot, I probably long term want a more effective mining vehicle. And I could, I could just build another craft, but I also had an idea of a mining vehicle on wheels. And I think I may want to, I may want to try building something like that uh, in the not too distant future. Um, but let's get some iron here loaded up first, and then uh, then head, head head back to the base to get that circular mining rig going first. <laughs> Okay, um, man, I, I feel like this was mostly, I don't know, there's, there's a little bit of iron here. I feel like it was mostly stone again. Um, but this is the, the beauty of this little, um, hauler, right? Like, we can load up this entire hauler here with material and then do multiple trips. So let's continue, maybe, uh, let's see how, how much we can get off of that iron boulder. Uh, maybe we can get it gone, get get it ground down, or ground down mostly at least. So let's see. And docked. 
let's unload. I think it would be uh, also cool if this unloading would happen automatically. If you guys uh, know the right settings on the uh, on the connectors to just have have the the hauler suck everything out of the miner, um, let me know. That would be really useful. Um, wouldn't have to do all of this manual moving stuff around here. Okay, I think we can do one or two more trips. Probably one more unloading into the into the hauler, and then we can leave the remaining material in the miner. Okay, dude, let's go once more. Uh, twice more, actually. <laughs> And we're docked. Okay. Perfect. Then let's get out of here. And uh, drive home. Okay. Now we just need to maneuver our vehicle in here. And I'm not even sure if we can get up the ramp with all the load that we have. <laughs> we have to override the, the power on the wheels, but uh, let's see. Oh no, it looks good, looks good. Oh, but we get stuck. Okay. Let's see. Let's see how we can fix this. So let's put on the handbrake first. Um... The wheels. We definitely need to make sure that they power out the suspension is at a hundred. So we lift it up as much as possible. Okay, I th was slipping through at the back. So let's see if we can can we increase traction on the wheels. Oh, by the way, somebody gave me the tip instead of. Putting the steering angle all the way down to zero degree, um, like I like I did. What is the default here? Thirty percent. Let's put it back up again. Uh, subscriber was so kind to um, give me this tip. Uh, the the you can just turn off steering on the back wheels. There we go. That's that's much more straightforward. Okay, so we increase the friction to hundred percent. But anything else that we can do? I don't know what this. Oh, okay, the strength. Okay, there we go. Lifts it up more. Okay, that's better. Okay, we may. Uh oh, oh, oh. Stop. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. We may have to... I think it might be all the way off or up already. Let's see here. Yeah, I don't see it raise anymore. Let's put it at 50 anyway. Okay, let's give this another try. Okay. We're coming, we're coming. Yeah. And there we go. Now let's carefully maneuver. Oh, the light above the door. I I think I also want to put on a uh, on a sensor so it only turns on when there's actually a vehicle in the door. Uh, another tip. I think it was the same person that gave me the tip. Was by the way, if we have groups, uh, if we have the wheels back wheels. We can now toggle steering on them. Here. And that way we will be more maneuverable while inside the the base. Or in this case in our hangar. So like we can get the vehicle above the above the connector. Um, we only need to lower We do need to lower 
the power again. No, not not power. But strength. So to lower the vehicle down again. Oops, and that may have been too much. Actually looks fine. It's not dragging. There we go. And we're connected. Boom. Perfect. And breaks on just in case. That's fine. Now, um, let's see. I think the same question now basically um, arises for unloading the hauler in general towards the um, why is this grayed out? Did something break? Cargo container 3 is accessible, but the other ones are not. I'm so confused. Is stuff broken here? These lights seem like they might be broken. Yeah. The cow container as well. Oh no. I don't know exactly what happened here. Maybe it was me uh, trying to drive up the the slope here. Okay, let's let's grab some material here. Let's grab some material and get that fixed. These over here seem fine. Yeah, not not one hundred percent sure what happened, but that's okay. Let's see. Actually, we should be able to just do this here as well. Let's get this all welded up again. Okay, I think now I should be able to unload it, right? Yeah, that looks better. Cool. So, I wonder now... Hmm. Should I risk it? <laughs> so, the... the Hollow bottom connector. Can I do collect all? And then throw out. Is this going to collect all the material and then kind of pump it into the base? Where's the connected grid? The current chip here, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it's that's working. Hollow bottom connector. Yeah, that okay. It probably makes sense to have that setting. Like on a t to toggle that setting on and off on a timer block. Will it stop? It appears like it stopped. Why did it stop? Oh, maybe because the refinery needs to actually pull from it. Is it is it actually not exhausting it out? Like I think it is like if I disable throw out will it like will the refinery pull just through the grid is that what's happening is the refinery just pulling through the grid like are these things gonna get moved doesn't look like it right so if I switch this back to throw out will Okay, and now it's empty. Oh, but... <clears throat> excuse me. Clearly, it just pulled from the stone, right? Let's just uh, wait if we can see. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely still pulling. So this throw has no effect. That's not what made that. That is fine, though. Um, so if we want to build some hand tools now, less than one silver ingot per. And I think we have, like, a bunch already. Yeah, a hundred. Okay, let's build the tools. Uh, okay, they are produced. Let's grab them. And we'll also go and disassemble these. Um, where's the assembler? That's why people use uh, scripts to organize their inventories, I think. <laughs> and almost done. Almost done. There we go. Okay, now production disassembly. Yes. This one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now I need to add them to my tool belt. 
Extractor tools? Yeah. 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 Done. Let's go uh, and check out the to-do list for the day so far. So, we've got silver iron. We even got gold. We have done this. Build medical room. Okay. Okay, let's produce everything we need. While this is producing, let's go back and check. Build simplified radial mining rig. Let's quickly talk about the radial mining rig. I want to have basically an a radial area, ideally centered in front of the control room. So like maybe the center of it would be right where I am standing right here. Obviously, I don't want to get it in the way of the of the hangar over here. So let's just um. I don't have any plates. Let's get some steel plates. There we go. Let's just uh, see how much space we have here in between. Is this the center? Is this the center? I think this is it. Okay. Uh, how many blocks is this? So, let's come from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So we could go up to thirteen, but twelve is probably better. So we have a little bit of space. Um. So, let's see how many blocks is in that direction. I'm, I wish there was a do not fall down button like there is in Minecraft. Um, I guess we could just turn on the jetpack. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is only nine. So we can bring it out a little bit more. It's ten, eleven, it's at 12, right? Was it 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, and then we'll leave a little bit of space here. So this block here should be the center of our mining rig, of the new radial mining rig. And so we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Actually, one more. This here is the center. Okay. So yeah, um, I'm incorporating the old mine, uh, which means there will be a little bit, it will be a little bit less efficient and it will be a little bit of kind of like wasted space. But um, in the end, that's fine. That's fine. It's still going to be big enough and yield enough resources. And so then what I want to do is like, I want to have the, the rig come over here and come down here. And then it will expand like these 12 blocks. I will have... Whoa! Okay. I will have 12 blocks long arms. And then I will have uh, mining heads, drill heads, every few blocks. And I should... I wonder if it's enough to have them every other block, or even every third block. I guess I should know based on the distance that I am... I may have to experiment. I may have to experiment. Let's, uh... Actually, for experimentation, we might want to also... Just, uh... Build a little testing rig. Just just so that we, that we can see how many mining... Large mining drills we need... Um, or like what the density of mining dr uh, mining drills is that we need to fully excavate the area. The way to test it, I think, is with this. Now we can we can just uh, build some conveyors. Two, three, over here. Yeah, so this will 
We can run two tests here very easily. We can put a drill head every other. Or every third. And we can do every other on this side. We'll just start with every third. So one here. Then one, two, three, one there. And then we'll put one here. And then one here. Over here. If that is too far apart, which it might be. And if it, if it, if even if this is too far, then we just know it's, it's, it, we need to put one on every single one. So let's, we do need to weld this stuff up. I don't think we can fit them. Yeah, no, it doesn't fit. Uh, let's uh, build the medical room since we're in the middle of this. It's always a great time to build something in the middle of something else. <laughs> I think maybe I want to put it here. Like this. Yay! Ah. So much better. I wonder if there's a way to get rid of this grass. Kind of poking through the blocks. I kind of hope they would just decay once I place blocks on top of them, or on top of it, but it doesn't look like it. Well, we'll have a wild-looking base for now. Okay, so next stop is this thing. And we... I just realized... Oh, no. I think I messed up. I do need to connect it to the base for power. Um, and I didn't align them, so I'm not sure if I, if I can, if I can connect them. What is going on? So... How do I do this? Is this connected now? Oh, it is. Oh, sweet. Editor me here. Hi. Um, so I just now realized how weird this was. The the grid blocks, they just suddenly like moved down like 20, 30% of a block or something. If you guys know what's going on here, how this works, uh, please let me know in the comments below. I'd be curious to understand what just happened. Let's get back to the video. So, I'm a little bit surprised this worked, because I didn't make an effort to align these with each other. It's quite surprising to me. This is perfectly aligned. This is like, this uh, works. So this is powered. This means I should be able to expand this. Uh, reverse, 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 reverse. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't need to go all the way. Uh, maximum distance. Let's put it to... Four, and then let's reverse it again. And then when it's at four, I'll reverse it again. Okay, perfect. So now... So, um... It'll be one. And one. And I'm gonna be one. And one. Okay, now we just turn this on. Toggle block on. Yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm pretty sure these here are too far apart already. I like, almost heard. But we will find out. We'll lower this piston. And reverse. And we'll see. I think this is enough for me. So if I reverse this again, and then uh, this here separated it fully. This here did not. So every other block should be fine to have a piston. Uh, not a piston, a, a mining drill. We'll need a drill here. Then here. 
and here, and here, and here, and here, and here. Okay, that works. And then we will need to bring this conveyor out over here. We we can we can continue using pistons, but we don't really need to because in those directions the the system won't have to move anymore. We do need to have it high enough up. Uh, the question is also like how far down we want to bring it eventually. So right now we have one, two, three, four vertical pistons. And it's a decent depth. But I think there's no real reason not to bring it lower. I think we need to add another piston. And we can... Uh, two fully extended ones. We should be able to have six here. Which will bring this down very, very, very deep. So what we'll need now is just a bunch of uh, conveyor. Let's disassemble this here. I just now noticed there are actually two tips here, especially for this one. Alt, middle mouse button, deposit all ores, ingots, and components. So I can just press this from outside so I don't have to actually open the inventory menu every time I want to deposit everything. So I can just go here and boom, it's all gone. Perfect. Okay, so this is all built back. Uh, next step is to start building out this thing over here. So, this is roughly the height that we want these drills to be at, I think. So, like, kind of like sitting on top of this, like this. So I can't just place it here. What I will need to do is actually I want to place it over here. I'll build some scaffolding on the side of this and now I should be able to just stick it there yeah I'm gonna put a conveyor here and here and then let's put these actually one <laughs> it's actually funny these reinforced um, conveyor tubes I was wondering what they're for and then I realized it because if you want to ever run conveyor tubes alongside flooring, this is where you can use them. You can just build a floor while also running conveyor tubes through the floor. Just a little, kind of little bit that I that I realized. Um, okay, let's keep going here. place it. Um, I think that just means I need to drill this out a little bit here. Um, and now I'm realizing that I might not be able to build it this way. I do need to put down a rotor. And last time we were working with a rotor when building up a little hanger, I wasn't able to place it this this way. Right? Advanced rotor. I guess I would want it to be this direction. In theory, it doesn't make a difference. Um, but I, eventually, I will need to connect it again, right? Okay, let's uh, do it a little bit differently than for now. I think I need to build it. I need to start building it off of the base and then come over here. I think the, the direction I'm building it right now is not going to work. So for that, I'll have to wait for the mining rig drill to finish. It still has like one more spot to go. Or I just... Yeah, I'll, I'll just I'll just, I'll just, just abandon it. Uh, uh, abort it. Let's just... Um, stop all the timer blocks, basically. All of these here, just stop. And then I should just be able to build it back. Okay. 
So the old rig is built back. And I'm just going to build the new rig off of this piston here as well. Maybe, maybe what I want to do, though, is I could bring the conveyor over here and have a, the whole rig start here, right on top of the control room. I think I, I'm going to do that. I think I like that. So let me, uh, let me run this conveyor over here. Okay, I've run the conveyor over here. Um, I tried using some reinforced tubes just to see like how it would look like if it's integrated. Um, I think I want to... Uh, I, one thing I'm definitely noticing, I, I need more assemblers. Like this one assembler is when I'm actually building like larger projects, it, it, it struggles with keeping up. And if I need large amounts of components um, like quickly, it like it, it'll take forever to build like uh, the components for for example for the for the medical room it, it took it took like minutes so i i want to speed that up um uh, so i will add some more assemblers eventually uh probably not right now i i think i built most of the material to for for this rig here already um but yeah so we run the conveyor over here it is on top of the control room now so we can bring it up uh with one or two pistons and then bring it back down over there. So it's not going to do this weird L shape kind of thing here in the middle of. So uh, let's do that. I'll bring it up and bring it over and come down again. Let's do it. <laughs> Okay, so I have used two pistons over here. I've brought them all the way up and I've run the conveyor over and I have now a total of six pistons over here that go down. Um, and then I placed the rotor here already and attached the first drill. I had to uh, disassemble, like I will have to disassemble all of this here and reassemble it basically because this drill is a little bit in a different position than the other ones. Be a little bit lower, but that should be fine. I hope. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to rebuild this here uh, off of this drill head. And at that point, I should be able to just um, weld this all up. Let's just quickly do this. Okay. Um... These are a little bit lower now, and I'm a little bit afraid that I actually won't be able to make my way out of this here. I may have to carve off a little bit of these voxels over here manually um, with my hand drill to get this started. Uh, but, um, yeah. I, and, and another realization that I have is I don't even need timer blocks to automate this. I can just set this rotor to spin at a fixed rotation and these pistons to extend at a fixed amount and it will just dig out this entire area so yeah that's cool um please. so next stop for me is to uh remove the scaffolding which i still have here and then weld this all up um 
and I will time lapse through that. So let's get to it. Here we go. So, I think what we need to do now is we need to get to all these drills and we need to rename them. Actually, more important than renaming them is grouping them. Mining rig drill. And then we need to turn them all on. And this is quite shaky. Obviously. So I might want to get a hold of all these pistons. These two pistons here is um these are the two that point upwards. And the, all the other ones. Okay, one of these pistons I'm not okay. I think I have two pistons here. Yes I do. And I believe I have six pistons here, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven, okay. Because I did count seven, I was a little confused. Let's grab these pistons. Oh, I'm a little bit afraid of turning this on. There, there was... One of them I shouldn't be turning it on, I think. This is starting to sway quite strongly, so let's just turn, them up, turn it on on all of them. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I mean, it worked, right? It stopped mostly shaking. Rotor lock on. Um, velocity. So I think we want it to go relatively slow. Something like, uh, I don't know, one rotation per hour. So if we do 0.1 rotations per minute, it'll take 10 minutes. Something like 0 0.05 roughly. Uh, 0 0.05? No. 0 0.005, sorry. And do we want to have Shrein Nation Tetsa on here as well? Possibly. And still relatively shaky. But I guess there's just an, a certain shakiness to, to the drills. So, is it actually rotating though? Let's uh, see if we can make something out over here. So far, I don't see anything, really. Maybe we need to reverse it to try to get it the other direction. Maybe we need to have it run just a little faster. So, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Now it's turning the rotor lock was what was preventing it from. Yeah, it's moving slowly, but it is moving. Perfect. Okay, let's see if it can clear that space over there. Because it might not. And if it can't clear the sp space over here, I will have to manually help it out. And so... The idea here is, I think... 
if this takes... So we set it to... It takes 20 minutes to... Com is that we set it to 0 0.05 rounds per minute. So it, n it requires 20 minutes to close one loop. So that also means that every 20 minutes we need to lower it by two blocks because we have already established that these at least in the horizontal they can they can uh, dig out two blocks I'm just monitoring this here I may have to help it out up here but generally I think generally this looks good so lowering, lowering it two blocks meaning five meters every 20 minutes yeah I need to this I need to be cleared out a little bit more. Oh, oh ouch. Okay. Lowering it two blocks every 20 minutes. I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine pistons. Five meters every twenty minutes. Uh, what's the velocity that we need to set here? What's the velocity measured at for the pistons? Um, in meters per second. So I'm gonna do a little bit of math. Uh, give me one second here. Okay, we have a little calculator here. Um, so. What we're going to do is we we need to move it five meters every twenty minutes. So how much need how much do we need to move it per second is the question. Five meters every twenty minutes is a quarter meter that's correct. Uh, a quarter meter per minute. And what's that per second? Divided by sixty. Right? A very low number. Uh but then also we have a total of nine pistons, so we need to also divide it by nine pistons. Um, so this is scientific notation. So this is actually 0 0.0004. Let's see if we can even do this. Um, let's grab these pistons here. And for five, I might round this. I can't round it up. So does it need to move too slow or too fast? If I, it needs to move too slow. So I need to round it down. Like if it moves too moves too fast, it will eventually get stuck. Where the if it moves too fast, if it moves too slow, it's fine. It will just not be as as efficient. So, velocity here. Is that how many? One uh, point zero 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 four. So three zeros and then a four. Yeah. Three zeros and then four five. So velocity is. Minus uh, zero, so zero, 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 four, five. Okay, and then, oh, this piston here as well. We kind of missed this one. Minus zero, 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 four, five. And then these two need to be positive. That's the only difference. Zero point. Zero, 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 four, find. This here are negative, right? Yeah. Okay. So these pistons, none of these pistons are moving just yet. I do want to kind of have this complete one rotation, roughly, before I start them. But yeah, this looks good. And other than just configuring these values, we, there's nothing that we need to do to keep it running. We can happily 
Go down here and destroy all of these. We will not need this anymore. That's I think that's the beauty of the radial mining rig really is here we go. Perfect. Is how simple it is, right? In terms of operating it. And let's look if we uh, get the material in, if the old refinery is running. Yeah, definitely running. Right now, since these um, <clears throat> drill, hats are, drill heads are not... Um, they're kind of like just like scraping the surface, right? Um, they'll become more effective at gathering material as I start lowering these pistons. Also, honestly, the, the whole uh, 20 minutes for one revelation that was just um, a ballpark number they might be able to to move at a much faster speed than that the only thing that i need to con consider is if i if i no, do change the velocity oh i need to i need to charge up here let's quickly get rid of the stuff and charge up the only difference the only thing i need to consider if i do speed it up i may need to the in, in terms of how many revelations it, it does if it does more than one revelation per 20 minutes, I do need to adjust the, the speed, the rate at which it drops. Um, because that is that is kind of like the, 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 the factor or the constant that is shared between these two kind of like operations, right? Yeah, let's just uh, wait for it to finish one revelation. And then we will start dropping it and see how it goes. <laughs> So I think while this is uh, spinning around, let's quickly look at the at the to-do list and update it for what we've done so far today. Um, we have built the medical room, so we can move that. We have built the simplified mining rig. Let's move that. And we've already automated it. The only thing that we still need to do is reverse the pistons. If we wanted to dig out a, a larger area, we'd have to add more pistons or extend the arm. Uh, although we don't have enough space to extend the arm over here. So, there's that. Um, but I think this, this... The sheer size of this is going to be... Compared to what we had before, right? This is almost... Well, I wouldn't say four times the size, but it's probably at least... Because this is obviously a circle instead of a square. Um, but it's at least twice the size... Um, and it goes down twice as deep. So, two times four, two times two, it's like four times the size easily. Maybe four, five or six times the size. So, like, we have plenty, um, with this for now. And we will build something bigger and better when we need it. Um, uh, and while it's still complete, let's actually build these two more assemblers, um, while we're at it here. Oh, okay, I, I'm realizing something. If I want to stack them onto each other and be able to actually pass large items through, I do need to change the orientation of this one down here for the large port to be pointing up um, or down. And that might mean that this uh, one module down here will fall off. Um, we'll see. Okay, so we now have three assemblers. Uh, let's put the, the last one still needs to go into cooperative mode. Yeah. Cooperative mode. Okay. But yeah, the the rig has turned Energy. one full revelation. That means it's time to reverse the pistons. Piston. Let's create a group as well. Um, mining rig pistons. Save. And then let's just reverse them. And now this should just slowly but surely 
lower them down while it is revolving. And when it comes back here, it should be five meters deeper. Um, we will not need this pult anymore, the way that it's installed here. So let's spread that down. But will I? The What I want to put there instead is... I want something... Yeah, this one here, I think. There we go. And this one... I can then set up this button here to... Or these buttons. This one will just stop it. And then this one will resume it. And the, the last one, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, I think we may... We'll probably need timer blocks though for... For... This. Because we'll need to do multiple actions. I think... Can we just... Hmm. Now I'm wondering, actually. Maybe we don't need a time block. Maybe we just need a, a group. Because I think the only thing that we need to do is we need to get all the... The pistons and the rotor and the drills together in a group and then just turn them all off and turn them back on again. The mining rig pistons and then rotor. This one's not moving. I think this is probably the one under the... This one here is moving. Okay. Also, it has train interest and so on. So this here is the mining rig rotor. Mining rig rotor. Advanced rotor. And then the drills. Mining rig drills. Now if we search for mining rig. Yeah, we have this one and this one and this one. And now we can just call it mining rig uh, parts. So now <clears throat> the big red button, mining rig parts, toggle block on off. Let's try it. Let's try it. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now we can start again. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, wait until this has completed another revelation with the pistons being active. Okay, guys. Um, it looks like it's not quite working out as we had hoped. Actually, I think it may have gotten stuck there on, on the voxel right there. Okay. Let's uh, reverse the rotor to back off a little bit. So let's stop the whole thing. Okay. That's good. Um, so there's two things. First of all, there's this voxel here, which I think is just, um, left over from the old, from the old mine. Oh, come on. How am I going to get this? Okay. I have no clue how to clean this up um but yeah i will need to clean this one up obviously but then also this here is is remnants from this new mine and this will not work uh it will get stuck on these um so i think the problem that i'm having here is that while it's correct that each of these drill heads can mine out five meters in the, the the area that they're mining out is probably a circle uh, and not a square so if you imagine a circle around this drill head and a circle around that drill head that is roughly 2.5 meters in di diameter diameter no in radius so five meters in diameter diameter 
then along the along the axis that goes like like through the circle at the at the largest point uh like along here they will mine out all the material but as you come further up to the circle in this area they will not mine out all the material anymore um so if I, if you're dropping them basically like there's an overlap between the two circles and that overlap like if you if you uh, draw a plane between that overlap, where the two circles overlap. Um, or, well, technically spheres. So two spheres, they overlap, that creates a circle. And the diameter of that circle um, is the maximum amount that we can drop these drill heads per, per, per revelation. If we drop them quicker than that, this is what happens. Um, so... I do not know what that sphere is, and we might be able to look it up somewhere. Uh, it's it's the di diameter of that sphere is certainly more than five meters, uh, but I don't know how much more than five meters. Um, and so, for now, I think reducing the drop rate. I mean, it almost did it, but not quite. And also, we started it like way over there, so there's. This will start like if if there wasn't a hole here, this would start getting significantly worse uh, as it progresses all the way to over there. Um, so I think we'll reduce the drop rate by like maybe twenty five percent, roughly. So I think right now we're doing four, four forty five with a bunch of um, <clears throat> with a bunch of um, zeros in front of it, and we'll just reduce that to like. Let's say three. That's that's more thirty three percent, but still. Um, and then we'll just see how it goes. I, I've monitored the amount of material this produces uh, compared to uh, how much that one refinery can handle, and this mine, like even even just scratching like the dirt here, not even like we're not even really in in the stone yet. It produces way more material than the one refinery can handle. So we need to either um, build some more refineries at some point. We probably do need to do that at some point anyway. But um, uh, or occasionally just like stop the mine for the refineries to catch up. Um, but yeah. So I'll try to figure out how I can get rid of these kind of rogue voxels here. Because I'm struggling with getting it with the with this mining drill here, the hand drill. Is this the same problem here? It appears like it. I'll spend some time trying to figure this out. Uh, if you have any advice how to do this um, more effectively, let me know. Uh, there's a bunch that I need to clean up here, and if it takes me 20 minutes per thing, that, that will be not really uh, economical. Let's get to our board quickly. Let's revamp what we did today. We have built the proficient tools. We got iron, silver, and gold. We built a medical room. We built the simplified radial mining rig and automated it, which was pretty straightforward. Um, and added like a little button control here. So I think we did a good job. A uh, lot of good stuff here. I'll clean this stuff up and make sure and adjust the drop rate. And um, yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more like this, make sure to subscribe. I upload Space Engineers videos twice a week and there's lots of other stuff on the channel to explore. I recently started a discord server so please make sure to check it out there's a link to that in the description below i typically go into the discord server and hang out there while i'm recording uh, especially while i'm recording time lapses there's a lot of opportunity to just hang out and chat and get to know each other so uh, i'm looking forward to that otherwise thanks a lot for tuning in and watching and see you guys next time